We're back in Chicago for more action in the World Shidokan Tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I'm going to summon forth to the ring from Lithuania, Kestutis Arbushes. And from France, Manu Ento. And two uh, from France, but now fighting out of uh, California. Dave, what club does he represent out there? Ento is a strike force kickboxing champion. He packs a mean right hand. This is going to be a tremendous fight here, John. I'm really looking forward to this matchup. Well, this guy, Arbosius, looks pretty long and strong. You see both the fighters feeling each other out here. There's a front kick, high roundhouse kick. Again, just feeling each other out. There we see roundhouse kick. Ento catches and throws Arbosius to the ground. Well, Ento looks a little bit chubby, but uh, that could be deceiving. Ento is a very physical specimen. He's very short, he's very powerful. Tremendous fighter. There's a spinning back kick just catching Ento on the arm. Again, a lot of feeling out here, you'll see. There's a front kick, sends Ento to the canvas from Arbrosius, a front kick. Well, Ento doesn't look any worse for wear there. Well, there's a knee strike there from Arbrosius, and you'll see Ento grabbing that knee. Axe kick. Spinning back kick. Well, Arbrosius has that height, and that's got to help him. So it's an advantage here. I mean, he's the tallest of all the contestants tonight, who I saw. Spinning hook kick. A lot of techniques here being thrown. Notice the grabbing. Both fighters utilizing the grab. There's a three-second grab allowed in Shidokan rules. So that means you either got to do something or uh, you get your active. hands off of them. That's correct. You have to be active. Grabbing can be used for knee strikes, throws, sweeps, as we almost saw right there. There's a spinning back kick. Arbosis has kicked Ento a couple of times, but it doesn't look like he's doing any good. Ento is in tremendous physical shape. His conditioning is right up there with top athletes all over the world. And bare knuckle karate, you can't only just dish it out, you have to be able to take it. That's the end of round one. Let's take a look at some of that first round action. Here's that front kick right to the midsection of Ento, sending him to the canvas. Boy, that was perfectly timed. I was even impressed with that one. Round two. There's a high roundhouse kick there from Arbrosius to the face of Ento, just grazing him. Oh, and a Zabaki technique followed by a knee. Right hook. You know, Ento may be strong, but I think the cost of that strength is speed because Arbrosius is quicker. I think he's thrown Ento out of his game, and he's good with the hands and the feet. Arbrosius is very versatile. Watch how he attacks from every angle. Low, high, medium. Hands, feet, knees. He has really thrown Ento off of his game plan. Notice the movement as well. He's constantly moving. Yeah, he seems to be putting Antu in a uh, bad position here with his back to the ropes. Notice his positioning. He's cutting off the ring. He's controlling the fight. I think Antu realizes that because he's not being very uh, offensive. Here we see him trapped in the corner. Oh, and a spinning hook kick. Catching Antu on the side of the head, partially blocked there by the forearm. There's a hook and another uh, knee kick by uh, Abrocious, and Antu does not seem to be moving here. He doesn't look like he's tired, but he just looks motionless. Ento looks confused. You know, maybe he is biding his time for those kickboxing rounds, because after all, that is uh, Ento's specialty. I don't see him We're moving gonna, Oh, a front kick. If Ento's biding his time, he's taking a lot of punishment to do so. He's been on the mat twice. And you know, even when you go down, when you go down unexpectedly, that takes something out of you. Well, you have to get up. There's an X kick. Oh, and a straight right to the body. Ento's working that inside low kick. Seems to be content to stay oh, against those hands. ropes, and he's taking punches left and right by Arbosis. He's not making many offensive moves. No, oh, a sacrifice kick. Ento survives again, but next round, his specialty, kickboxing. Back in Chicago for more Shidokan kickboxing action. Here's that front kick that drops Ento. 
The start of round three. Kickboxing rules, the fighters wear 10 ounce gloves. They're allowed to grab and hold for three seconds. There are no elbow strikes allowed to the head. Well, Anto is- Oh, and there's a right hand. Beautiful right hand by Arbosius. No standing eight count given there. Looked like a knockdown to me, Dave. Well, that referee's got the best seat in the house. These punches are crisp. Punches and low kicks exchanged by the fighters. Well, this is supposed to be Anto's specialty, so let's see what he can do. He's up to his neck and stuff now, buddy, I'll tell you. And you see the fighters exchange low kicks again. Anto's the short of the two. He's got to be the stalker here. Oh, a nice right kick. And that's the best offensive display I've seen from the Frenchman tonight. Good left hand. Good left jab to Brocia's face. Maybe we're going to see some action here. So far, it's been all Abrocious, except for that last flurry by Anto. Anto's making a comeback. Abrocious gets a nice right hand, and then left. Abrocious is pressing the action here. There's Anto with a comeback. Oh, and a round kick. Low kick there. Abrocious also has good defense, because Anto is not scoring with any of uh, those punches. There's a good left uh, j uh, jab to the face of Abrocious. Anto's active. Hands motioning around, trying to confuse Abrocious. There's a left and a right. The right connects. Uppercut there from Abrocious, connecting on Anto. There's a nice left hand to Anto's jaw. There's left another and one. Right and another one. Good combination there from Abrocious. Anto comes right back with that inside low kick. But so far, it's Abrocious with the signs of strength here. Except for those brief kicks by uh, Anto, it's been Abrocious, both with the feet and with the uh, punches. And that's the end of round three. Well, kickboxing is supposed to be Anto's specialty, but so far, it's Abrocious in this type of an event, too. Let's see how Anto got here in the first place. Here we see Anto facing a much taller opponent, Johan Gieb from Germany. They're executing a suplex. Gieb comes back with a right, knocking Ento to the ground. Ento's able to mount his own comeback using his hands, pummeling Gieb. Winds up being the winner, technical knockout in the fifth round. And that's what he has to do against Arbosis. He has to get inside. And it should be easier because Arbosis is not nearly as tall as Gieb. Let's see if he can do it here in this round. Round four. Ento opens up an old kick. Arbosis opens up with a front kick. Ento again chopping away at that lead leg with those low roundhouse kicks. Nadeau there kind of buttoning up there. This is supposed to be a boxing round for him and oh. he hasn't done a lot of boxing here. See these fighters exchanging tremendous techniques here. Abrocious has control of this fight here, John. Yeah, he seems to be pushing Anto all over the place. And Anto is not getting inside. Notice as he's punching from a distance. There you see a combination there from Barbosius. There are no counter punches. There are no counter punches here. There's just always a cover up, cover up by Anto. He's got to counter punch and get inside. Use that boxing skill of his. Barbosius seems to be stalking Anto here. Constant movement. You don't see any left hooks. There you see Barbosius coming back with an uppercut. Oh, and there's an axe kick, followed by a punch. Abrocious is all over the place. And I think he senses that. I think Anto is a little hesitant now to come in. He's keeping Anto in the corner there. There's a nice combination. There's a good right hand to the face. Abrocious is showing that ability to spin with his techniques as well. And Anton is not showing it, uh, any offensive action. It, it looks defensive. And you see He's Abrocious. waiting for all the action to come to him, Dave. Abrocious is pressing the match here at this point. Looks very calm and cool and collected there. That was a nice right hand by Anto, but uh, Abrocious came right back. There you see that spinning back kick again, as I mentioned, the spinning techniques. And a right hand by Abrocious misses at the bell. Well, I don't know, but I have uh, Arbrosius ahead on all these rounds. I think that Ento is going to have to really pick it up to get anything out of this fight. Ento's going to have to knock Arbrosius out. I don't know if you know this or not, John, but Arbrosius is an accomplished grappler, tremendous ground fighter. 
these next two rounds are definitely in his favor. Well, I tell you, though, I don't know uh, if we're going to have another two rounds. Uh, the bell has not rung to uh, announce the fifth round here. I think we've got a decision already. Ento's not going to continue, John. Well, you know what? I don't know if he's beat up as much as he's frustrated because he just couldn't do anything with uh, the Lithuanian. I agree with you, Johnny. Kostushis Arbroš has put on a tremendous display of his martial arts talents here tonight. There he is from Lithuania, your winner, Kostushis Arbroš. And we'll be back for the semifinals of the Shidokan competition.